So it snowed a ton a couple days ago, and then I think yesterday it started raining and it's been freezing. And this has been such a beautiful gift for me. Really, really stepping into the mindset or the perspective of gratitude and, and seeing the lessons that are in the daily life stuff. You know, the, the challenges, the struggles. The, this is a slow going walk for me. Honestly, if somebody came to start something, I'd be screwed. Like, I would not be able to get away very quickly. Um, <laughs> with that being said, I don't, I don't walk in fear. I walk in faith. So I know I'm taken care of. I know I'm loved and supported. But that's not what this life, what this life, what this video is about. What I wanted to share was how the icy the icy streets, you know, it's sketchy for sure. It's, you know, dangerous if you're driving, if you're walking, the likelihood of falling is higher. You know, likelihood of crashing in a vehicle is higher when you're driving on a sheet of ice. But something that I'm seeing in walking on ice is the gift of it is presence. Because I've noticed, I've, I've never really been one to fall. Like, I, I've never really slipped and fell um, often on ice. Like, gone many winters without falling. I did fall once this winter. So there was a sheet of ice underneath a snowy path. Um, but normally, I have a pretty good track record with keeping my, keeping my footing. With that being said, the times that I have fallen, it's when my mind is somewhere else. You know, my mind will go off somewhere else. I'll be thinking about something, something unrelated to my walk, something unrelated to what I'm doing in this now moment. And that's normally when I fall. So, you know, walking along, I'm actually surprised I haven't fallen because my focus isn't totally on my walk. But I think enough of my focus is that I'm pretty safe here. But... Another lesson from walking on ice or even um, I used to walk around the pond during rainy season so it'd be super muddy and slippery and anytime I'd slip either in the mud or on the ice it kind of gives me like a shot of like like a rush you know I don't know if it's a rush of adrenaline or what but I just get a little bit of a rush and then I usually giggle um, you know like oh that was a close call. But point being is that, you know, perspective, like look at these trees, they're ice, they're ice trees. Um, it's so pretty, even though it's freaking dangerous. Um, but yeah, point being, ooh, this is really slippery here. Wow. Um, point being is that your perspective in life really fucking matters, you know, like this, I knew it was going to be icy, but I wanted to go for a walk because I've been in my house like all day. So I knew I needed to take myself out for a walk and um, yeah, but I knew it would be icy and you know, so I was ready for that. But point being is what a gift it is to kind of in a sense be forced to slow down to be very present with what I'm doing and to slow down like there's no rushing to get anywhere when the sidewalk looks like this and I feel like in our society we're so we're like programmed to be busy to go 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 to hustle and bustle and grind and all that and slowing down is kind of more of a talked about like in the spiritual community more but on a grand scale like it's it's not really um, societally accepted to slow down unless you're sick you're unwell you know then you have a reason but it just feels like in our society it's like you can wear your busy like a badge of honor but if you if you're doing the slower pace of life 
and resting and just kind of taking it easy, you know. There's no badge of honor there. I'm not saying that there should be. I feel like the badge of honor needs to come down in terms of staying busy and go, go, go and wearing yourself out. Like, it's really, really important to to take the gifts that are provided to us. Like, I feel like this is, this is a gift provided to me to really help me slow down and be here on this walk, paying attention to these glorious feet that get me from point, point A to point B. Um, and just be here right now. So I'm really, really grateful for this experience. And like I said, every time I slip, I kind of like, it's like, whoo, that was a close one. But yeah, I feel like um, taking risks, you know, is not a bad idea. I can see why there's, you know, people that go for the adrenaline rush, why they love taking risks and doing crazy stuff. Like, I get walking on ice because ice isn't a huge risk, but that little rush I get every time I almost slip and fall. I'm like, hmm, there might be something in jumping out of an airplane or, I don't know, speeding through the, the woods on an ATV or something. <laughs> there might be something there. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say is just look at your perspective, right? Perspective in life is everything. There are lessons all around us.